This is North Carolina a and State University in Greensboro. Home to 10,000 students, it is the largest historically black college or university in the nation. And today, it is a campus divided, split down the middle along this road into two different congressional districts. And there's over 10,000 students here that attend a and um, And if you split that in half, 10,000 students can swing any election that you want. But if you split that in half, there's less less chance of swinging an election. At issue are North Carolina's congressional voting maps. In February, a federal court ruled that Republican lawmakers had racially gerrymandered two of the state's 13 districts and ordered them to be redrawn. In response, GOP legislative leaders crafted new congressional maps that they openly admitted were gerrymandered to give their party maximum advantage. And while lawmakers said race was no consideration in how these newest maps were made, the fact remains that this predominantly African-American university has been split into two separate congressional districts, part in the 6th and part in the 13th. Over here we have Holland Hall, a residence hall that is located in Congressional District 6. And right across the street, we have Aggie Village, an, um, another residence hall that is located in Congressional District 13. It's a move that these a and students say will lead to confusion on Election Day and will fracture the voting power of this campus community. With this university being split into two congressional districts, it undermines and diminishes its political influence and its lobbying power. So the General Assembly has redrawn these maps to split specifically this university to target um, the black vote. And that's something that concerns me very much in regards to when people say that you have to vote in regards to changing people in your legislature when you don't like things going on. How can I vote knowing that my vote won't, won't even have power. These new congressional districts could face additional judicial scrutiny, but regardless of the outcome in this court case, Dominique Sanders of Common Cause North Carolina says there's just one sure way to protect all voters from gerrymandering. We need to get partisan politics out of gerrymandering, out of redistricting, and students at A&T do care what's going on. We do care what the state legislature decides. To join the movement to end gerrymandering in North Carolina, sign our petition. Visit endgerrymanderingnow.org.